adding sequins and beads is the most common step working with these stockings. You're going to grab your beading needle, which is the long and skinny one, and it has a very small eye. I'm struggling with it a little bit. What I like to do is fold a piece of the thread over, creating a fold there that I try and make a nice little crease in. Once I have a crease made, I try and press that crease into the eye of the needle. And I just try and get it started enough so that I can grab it with a fingernail and pull it through. And it took a little work this time. Sometimes it usually does. And then I want to even up the ends of the thread and put a knot in it. Grab both ends, firmly hold between your thumb and index, wrap it around once, roll the end through, and creating a knot. Now we're going to start by adding a sequin. And all of these dots mean a sequin goes there. We're going to put a dark green sequin here. The sequin goes on first then a clear bead. Now I'm going to pull the thread back through the eye of the sequin or the hole in the sequin, not through the bead again, just through the eye of the sequin. This will secure the bead on top of the sequin and hold the sequin in place. Now once I've done this I noticed that I really don't like where the sequin is sitting because when I put the thread back through uh, it didn't go right through the hole that I initially made, or it's a little off. It's about an eighth of an inch off. So I'm going to back the needle out, and you can do that with felt fairly easily. The trick is to really not force it, but hold the needle really straight through the fabric so it comes back out that hole that you made the stitch through. So I'm going to put my thread closer to that original stitch that came up to put the sequin in place. All right, we'll tackle a second one here. Now sequins sometimes get rubbed. The paint gets rubbed off the metal base of the sequin, and I always really check out the sequin before I add it to the stocking. Uh, if they get rubbed, I try and find one that isn't in the batch that I have. Sometimes you get a bad batch of sequins. Maybe you bought an older kit on eBay that the sequins got damaged in storage. It's, it's happened to me. Um, and it's pretty easy to go purchase new sequins from a Michaels or a Joann's Fabric craft store type place. I also have extra sequins from other kits. And the, and the plastic beads are not really glass beads that you add on top. Um, sometimes the holes are not large enough for the eye of the needle to pass through. So usually I just throw those away, grab another bead, till I find one that'll work. Sometimes there's not even an actual hole in the bead. Don't worry about it. Time to knot it now. I grab a piece of the felt, just a tiny piece. I don't go all the way through to the front. And I make a first loop, which I grab. I try and tighten that up, make a second loop. And then I snug that all up to the back. 